OK, so here we go with a D1 bubble sort for LXL, and we've been asked to sort these numbers into ascending order using a bubble sort, and the two important phrases here are ascending order and bubble sort. Don't do a descending order, and don't do a quick sort. Read the question carefully. OK, so the first stage is to write out the numbers carefully, and I do mean carefully. Some people copy numbers wrong. Some people have such poor handwriting, they even read their numbers wrong on the next line. OK, so we start off by doing a bubble of the first two numbers. And we check, are these in ascending order? In fact, they are, so we'll leave these numbers alone and leave the rest of the numbers alone as well. And we will then move our bubble along to the next two numbers. And again, check, are these in ascending order? Uh, well, no, they're not, so we would swap these numbers over, but leave the rest of the numbers alone. We now move our bubble along to the next pair of numbers, and we compare 93 with 26, and again, are they in ascending order? No, they're not, so we'd swap them over, but leave the rest of the numbers alone. And we move our bubble along to the next pair of numbers, and again, 93 compared with 53, they're not in the right order, so we swap them over, but leave the rest of the numbers alone. Move our bubble along. Now 93 with 97. 93 has finally met a number it's not uh, bigger than. So we leave these alone. And we bubble along to 97 and 41. And these are not in the right order, so we swap them over. Move the bubble along, finally, to the last pair of numbers now. 97 has come to the end with 59, and it will swap. So we've bubbled all the way along from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Uh, 93 nearly made it to the end, but it met 97, uh, which then made it to the end. And in fact, now that means we know that 97 is in the right place. So the number at the end is in the right place now, definitely. And so we could put a box around it, and we know that we finished the first pass through the numbers. Now, normally in the exam, you wouldn't be asked to show uh, all of the bubbles, and in fact, you would waste an awful lot of time and an awful lot of paper if you showed all the bubbles. So probably what the exam will ask you to do is just show the result of the first pass. So that's what the examiner is probably looking for, uh, for the first line. You've moved uh, the numbers to the correct places, and the 97 is now in the right place. OK. So we will be doing now a bubble of all of the numbers through the next list for the second pass, but again, you don't need to show them. So I'd like to try and show you a quick and easy way uh, to work out what happens. So I'm looking at the 58 in particular, and I'm thinking, well, when that bubbles with 31, will it swap? And it will. So it's going to move along. So I'll now move it along and compare it with 26 and think, will it bubble, will it swap with 26? And it will. So I now look at the 53 and think, will it swap with 53? And it will. So I keep going. And finally now, 58 has met 93, which is a number bigger than it. So it's not going to swap with 93. So it's now found its place. So 58 now has found its place in the next pass. And all the numbers it bubbled with and it swapped with will slot in behind it. OK, so now the 93 that it met, I'll do the same thing with that. And think, well, will it swap with 41? Yes, it will. Will it swap with 59? Yes, it will. Will it swap with 97? Well, no, it clearly won't. Uh, I've already put a box around 97 to show that's in the right place. So 93 has now found its place. And 41 and 59 slot in behind it. And now we've reached the end of the second pass, and 93 is definitely in the right place. Now, you don't need to write the 97 down at this stage, but some people do prefer to keep everything in the right place, everything in the list at every time. OK, so now I'm on to my third pass. And again, I look at 31 and think, well, where will that slot in? Well, it keeps bubbling along until it meets 53. That's a number bigger than it, so it will slot in in front of 53. And the numbers, uh, well, in this case, just number 26, will slot in behind it. 53, well, that's not going anywhere. 58 is bigger than it, so it's already in its right place for this pass. 58, again, will bubble along until it meets 59. 
so it's found its place and 41 will slot in behind it. 59 uh, is less than 93, so again, that's found its place. And now we've uh, reached the end of the third pass. And 59 now must definitely be in the right place. And again, 93 and 97, you don't need to write them down at this stage, but again, a lot of people like to keep the list uh, full at every stage. So there they are. And now I'm on to my fourth pass. Fif 26 and 31 didn't move, they didn't swap. 53 will swap with 41, but will slot in in front of 58, and 41 slot in behind it. 58 isn't bigger than 59, clearly, so it will slot in there. And now 58 is in the right place, so that's the end of the fourth pass. And again, I can show all the other numbers if I wish to. Now, you could at this stage be forgiven for thinking, well, I've, I've finished uh, the bubble sort. I've got all the numbers in the right order, because we as human beings can see that 26, 31, 41, 53, etc. are in the correct order. However, on that fourth pass, we did make a swap. If you remember, we swapped 53 and 41 over. So we don't know that the algorithm has finished. So there are two things we can do. We can either make some statement here, or we can carry on and do a fifth pass to show what would happen on the fifth pass. Or if we had simply said that it was sorted and there were no more swaps, that would have been okay as well. But do be careful. Do make sure that at some point you do write what the final list is. And do, of course, check that they are in the right order. Check that these are the right numbers from the original list and check that they are in ascending order. Okay. So in summary, bubble left to right, make sure it's ascending or descending. At the end, give a conclusion, say that it's sorted. If you make a mistake, the common mistakes, right, okay, here's the common mistakes. Uh, some people do ascending instead of a descending, if they've been asked for a descending list. If you do make that mistake and then realise, don't waste time doing the bubble sort all over again. It's okay to do an ascending sort, uh, but then at the end, write it backwards and say, therefore, the descending order is. But it's a, be very careful if you do that, because some people forget to write it backwards at the end, and you'll probably lose two marks by doing that. Okay? I'll give them some top tips there. Do have fun, uh, and good luck with the exam.